Hello folks, I hope that you're having just a great day today. Today I'm going to take a look at the next story in my collection that I've got for Dark Matter. Uh, I took a look at this collection for you when I was reviewing uh, some of my uh, stuff when I was talking about some of the, the things that I was about to read in the sort of black genre writing that's, uh, that, that had happened in, in, in the last century. And this is a collection therein. This is a 2000 short story. A lot of the stories that were written in here were 2000. And this is going to be my token 2000 short story. And it's called Can You Wear My Eyes? It's five pages long. And it's by, and I'm not going to try to slaughter this person's name, so I've got to put it for you right there. It's um, Kalamo. Ya Salam, maybe, I hope that I did that some more, some form of justice. I'll spell it for you at the bottom, uh, so that way you'll have it. But again, um, it's, it's about five pages long. It's very quick. Uh, it took me less than 10 minutes to read. Um, the basic core concept is what happens when a wife dies and her, her, uh, her husband, who's going through mourning, a period of mourning and grief, chooses to transport her dead eyes to his eyes. What will happen? Uh, when he starts to see through his wife, his dead wife's eyes. And that's the central core conceit of the short story. If that's something that, that, that sells you, check it out. I'll, I'll link you to this collection below. Um, it's incredibly strong. Uh, it's incredibly well done. It's, it, it ends well. It's, it's, it's five pages long. It's never going to take you too long to read it. Um, I, I do think it's incredibly well crafted by a writer whose name I, can, I can't help it, for, but I can't pronounce. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's very well crafted by a writer. And of all the stories that I've read in it that were written in 2000, this is the best one. Um, and there, there are, most of the stories in this collection are, spec, are, 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 are speculative fiction by black writers um, in the last century. Um, most of them are science fiction. But there are a few here and there that aren't. Um, the first one, for example, Sister Lilith, isn't. Uh, it's, it's, about, it's, 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 it's a short story about um, our uh, whose main character is the Lilith character from the Adam and Eve creation myth, who was created first according to ancient Hebrew myth. Um, and then uh, she was basically somebody who wouldn't allow herself to be pushed around by Adam, so God had a do-over with Eve. With Eve. Um, and that's what are two creation stories in the Bible. The creation story where God creates man and woman in the first chapter, and then the creation story where he creates them in the second chapter. And the first one's Lilith, and the second one is Eve. Um, that's a, a, a myth from uh, sort of Hebrew culture that was uh, then became popular um, in a lot of sort of uh, local, 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 local myths and cultures. Uh, it, it also became popular in um, uh, Catholic uh, Christianity for, for centuries and centuries, pre-Protestant pre, uh, Revolution. Um, so Sister Wolf is, is that character, uh, which is speculative fiction, but it's not science fiction, fantasy, or horror. Um, and there are a couple of other stories like that that don't fit that. Um, but certainly, uh, can, you, can you wear my eyes, uh, the, the central core idea of Trans, trans, transferring a, a wife's eyes, uh, a dead wife's eyes, to her husband as a sort of uh, a way to acknowledge the, the love and the death and wind, keep a part of, of her with him. Uh, for, for, but um, and then seeing what happens is, I think, a core science fiction concept um, that I think is done a great job of. So there you are. It's a five-page short story. What more can I say? Um, I'll go ahead and lead you to it again. I'll link you to the collection below. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Was there anything in there that that uh, uh, you think that I, I, I missed on, or or, or that you uh, want to talk about? Feel free to, to go ahead and hit me up. I'm happy to sort of engage you with it further. Thanks for your time watching this video. We all have so many things happening in our lives, so the fact that you spent this time with me is so humbling. I really do appreciate that. And thanks. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be so many more of these to follow. Thanks again, and have a good one.